Alright guys, welcome back to another video and in this tutorial I'm going to be getting into some cool things that you can do with worksheets but before I hop right into that I want to just briefly cover how exactly we can copy and move ranges around or selections of data because it's not very intuitive at least some aspects of it so let me go ahead and touch on that first so we already know that you can just select it oh probably should mention this I'm working with a new example in this tutorial the new visitors to Bucky's room you can actually work with anyone because um I don't know the data isn't really important we're just gonna be like copying stuff but if you want to follow along go ahead and download the new visitors to Bucky's room project file from my website alright so back to the video let's go ahead and select any range of data for example this right here just make sure that you have multiple cells selected and just like any other program we can copy it in a couple different ways we can just right click it hit copy or cut we can use the symbols right up here or we could use the shortcuts on our keyboard of course control X is cut control C is copy and control V is paste now of course look at this we have one two three four five six seven eight nine rows selected in one column now whenever we paste this in Excel we don't need to select the exact same size that we're pasting into I mean we can and it'll work fine but we actually just need to select one cell just like this now whenever we paste it what's gonna happen is it's gonna reference the active cell right here it's gonna say okay this is the active cell of the copying area or if you cut it then the cut area and wherever you click that's where I'm gonna reference this active cell goes to that so again that's just a nice little tip another thing that I want to point out is this if you ever have a selection made say okay I think I'm gonna copy this and you know what I actually didn't want to copy it but now I'm stuck with this marching ants around the selection if you ever select something and copy it and you decide that you actually don't want to paste it anywhere then what you can do is you can just hit control D on your keyboard and that'll deselect your current selection so pretty cool it's another uh, you know kinda keyboard shortcut control D to get ri rid of those marching ants now another really cool thing that I want to show you guys is this if you ever want to drag and drop then you actually do it by taking your mouse and whenever you make a selection you move it to the top left corner and look at my crosshairs right here or my cursor you see how it's the typical fat plus sign well when you move it to the top left you get these four directional arrows so if you just click and drag what it's gonna do is you're gonna see the outline of your selection and you can just drop it wherever you want so that takes whatever data you have selected and it drags it and drops it to another area it's the equivalent of cutting and pasting it somewhere else but of course it's a very cool way very uh, I don't know like kinda of modern way of doing it so one last thing I want to talk to you guys about in this tutorial I know I was saying that uh, I was going to cover worksheets but I guess uh, you know I don't have time I was rambling on about stuff earlier they're gonna come across times that you're gonna want to copy an entire column into another column now for this example right here we just do it real quick by dragging down copying and pasting it right here however a lot of the times you're gonna work with data that is a lot longer than this I'm talking about thousands and thousands and thousands of rows so a quick little way that you can take one column and copy it to another one is this select the last empty column in your worksheet and if you just go up to this editing panel right here and you select this option right here fill click fill right now you can see what it did right there and it actually is probably better to explain it if you just look at this icon what it does is it takes the column to the left and pretty much puts it um, one column right so this is actually a really good icon whoever designed this good job you know I clap I applaud to you so why would you ever want to do this well you actually do this a lot whenever you're working with formulas and I'll talk to you guys about formulas later on but um well I guess it's kinda of hard to explain right now if I didn't even talk to you about formulas yet but you're gonna come across that the need to do that so whenever you need to that's how you do it for now thank you guys for watching
don't forget to subscribe and in the next video we're going to be covering some cool tips and tricks about worksheets